Hi all, right, uh, just doing a quick introduction to our self-defense uh, this week, a little bit of a warm-up for you. Uh, we've done various self-defense uh, warm-up sessions and they're all linking uh, together, like the actual sessions uh, that we're doing as well. You need to get on our members area or our private group in order to follow uh, the full sessions. And what we were exploring uh, with uh, the follow on from this warm up is uh, takedowns with some of the locks and holds. And then in the coming weeks, we can start to uh, explore also uh, sweeps and uh, throws and uh, other such uh, takedowns and uh, follow ups also uh, as well, uh, which is a great martial arts study. It's great fun and uh, it also has a very practical application. However, as I've said in previous videos, uh, it's we're not making you invincible. We're not making you into this uh, ninja that can walk around and take on anywhere. Uh, okay, what it should do is give you a confidence to carry yourself and not be afraid uh, to walk down the street and uh, go out and all those kind of things. However, it shouldn't give you a full sense of uh, security that you're invincible. So just really understand that uh, with the self-defense. We're, we're learning it from a study point of view. Uh, we're not training you to go into the military or uh, into the forces as such. That would take uh, another level of, uh, of uh, direction to where we're going. Uh, the self-defense is also a tricky one uh, to practice on your own. I've got a couple of ideas. One of the other instructors shared a real good idea on how to work some of the locks and things on their own. So I'll follow that up in coming lessons uh, as well. Uh, but what I wanted, wanted us to focus on, which you can do on your own, is some break Breakfalls. Now, we touched on this last week with backwards breakfalls, forward breakfalls. I just want to, for this warm up, do a side to side breakfall. Now, ideally, do it somewhere where it's a bit softer, a bit more forgiving. So, the gra grass in the garden, or even in a carpet at home, depends, I suppose, what you've got under it, but a carpet at home, or, or, or the a mattress, get a mattress down, or something like that. And obviously, do it at a suitable time. You don't need to be uh, jumping around, waking the neighbors up in uh, the middle of the night. So, uh, laying on your back, what we're going to do is uh, visualize that we've been thrown onto our side here, okay? So we're going to practice in the lesson like a throw like this, and we're going to be pretending that we've taken onto our, our side like so. So what I want you to do is lay on one side, take your palm, not the back of your hand, because uh, you've got all your bones, knuckles and everything, take your palm and slap the floor at a 45 degree like this uh, to your body, okay? Not a 90 out here. 45 degree. Now that's my right arm on my right side. I'm then going to take my left foot, my opposite foot over to land here. So that's also going to aid with the break forward there. And then when I switch to the other side, I'm going to flick my feet around and I'm going to break fall now on my left side with my left hand, remember palm down on the floor and my opposite right foot over on top like so. I hope that makes sense for you, okay? You might be practicing this way around, so I'll show you this way as well. So back to my right side, right arm here and left foot to here, to the ball of the foot. Okay, this way here. Remember, head off the mat, uh, off the floor, training area at any time. Switch the feet over, so your right foot lands here, and your left hand, palm, left shoulder down, breaks the fall here, like so. Okay, so change in to right, change in to left. Okay, then you can start to get a bit more of a flick with the feet. So you're going to kick yourself off the mat and break your fall like so. So I'm actually using my legs and my hips to kick myself and actually get a bit of air between me and the mat and then break the fall. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to, I'm going to take the mic off for a minute. I presume you can still hear me, but it might make a little less noise and banging around. So what we're going to do, we're going to do 50. Okay, yes, I said 50. Uh, 5 0. Okay, I'll swing around uh, this way. So, ready.
and that was your self-defense warm-up. And get on our private group, our members area, for the session to follow. Peace out. Good one.